Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll see how to configure GPIO ports of LPC2148 microcontroller and how to select functionality of this particular port. So in this lecture series, we have already covered introduction to LPC2148. Now this second point we are going to cover today, which is nothing but pin select register, which is used to select the functionality of the LPC2148 pins. Okay. The next session that is these four registers will cover in the next tutorial. So as we have already studied the pins which are available to the LPC2148s uh, which are nothing but 29 pins from port 0 and 16 pins from port 1. So out of these 29 pins from port 0 only 28 pins are GPIO pins that is general purpose input output pins okay but one pin that is pin number 31 from port 0 it can be used only as a general purpose output pin only okay and from port 1 we are having directly 16 pins from pin pin number p1.16 to p1.31 now this is one of the important feature of we can say LPC2148 microcontroller to one pin we are having minimum one functionality and maximum four functionality now what does it mean if we select this particular pin number one then this pin number one is nothing but p0.21 so this particular pin can be configured as a input output or general purpose input output pin that is GPIO pin okay this pin also act as a PWM pin this pin also act as a AD pin that is analog to digital conversion and capture pin okay what does it mean this pin is having four functionality now at a time this pin can work on only one functionality either this pin can work as a GPIO pin or a PWM pin or AD pin or cap pin simultaneously it cannot operate on two different different functionality so to select one function at a time we are having certain pin select registers okay now as in this LPC2148 minimum we are having one functionality and maximum we are having four functionality now to select one functionality at a time we require two bits minimum two bits are required so for example for GPIO we, we can write 00 then PWM01 then 10 and 11 so for each pin we require two bits okay now we are having port 0 in port 0 we are having 32 pins so for port 0 we require two 32 bit registers because for each pin if we consider these two bits then for 32 pins we require 64 bits so we require two 32 bit registers for port 0 and for port 1 we require one 32 bit registers so total we require three registers for select the functionality of different different port pins so almost every pin of these two ports has some alternate function available for example port 0.0, .0 can be configured as txd pin or as a pwm one pin the functionality of each pin can be selected using pin function select register okay for example in lpc21 for 8 pin in the diagram above which is mentioned pin 1 is having this 4 functionality which we have already discussed out of these 4 function we can select only one function and this is possible with the help of pin select register ok now we are having 3 pin select registers that is pin select 0 pin select 1 pin select 2 and pin select 3 so we are having 3 registers why 3 registers are required why 3 32 bit registers are required because for one pin we require two bits okay now port 0 is having 32 pins so for this we require 64 bits it means we require two 32 bit registers okay and for port 1 we are having only 16 pins so for that we require one 32 bit register so total we require three 32 bit registers which are nothing but pin select registers to select the functionality of these pins okay now these registers are pin select 0 now pin select 0 register is used to select the functionality of 
these pins p0.02 p0.15 pin select one register is used to select the functionality of p0.16 to p0.31 pin select two register is used to select the functionality of p1.16 to p1.31 okay now whenever we select functionality of particular pin then at that time we must have to configure that functionality with the help of this pin select registers okay now next important point is by default by default these pins are configured as gpio pins it means if we have to use particular pin as a gpio pin then there is no need to configure this pin select registers okay so we can directly access this gpio pins of lpc2148 there is no need of uh, configuring this pin select registers so almost all lpc2148 sorry this is 2148 pins are multiplex to support more than one function every gpio pin has minimum of one function and maximum of four function the required function can be select uh, selected by configuring pin select register as there can be up to four function associated with gpio two bits for each pin are available to select the function this implies that we need two pin select register to configure one port which we have already discussed okay by this the first 16 pins of port 0 can be configured with pin select 0 remaining 16 pins can be configured with pin select 1 and port 1 can be configured with the help of pin select 2 registers okay so these three registers we can use for select the different different functionality now how functionality different functionality can be selected for example if we uh, take one example of any pin select register then suppose we are having one pin suppose pin number x we are considering and to this pin number x we are having these four functionalities okay now to select this fu functionality out of these four functionality to select one functionality suppose we have to select this first functionality then the value assigned to this functionality is 0 1 and we can select this functionality by writing this instruction such type of instruction like ping select underscore function 1 so when we write this automatically this functionality will select will be selected if we write 0 then automatically first functionality will be selected okay so likewise out of four functionality we can select any functionality at a time okay thank you